you have a question for Zoo Atlanta? Well, I'm Gavin Johnson, and I'm here to help. This is Ask Zoo ATL. I'm at the zoo where I've tracked down assistant curator of mammals, Ken, to answer this week's question. Hey, Ken, how are you? Pretty good. How about yourself? I'm doing well. Okay. At Marnie Levy is asking, how do the animals adapt to the change in climate as it gets colder, especially the panda cubs? Well, speaking for mammals, a lot of the animals develop a thick winter coat that enables them to withstand a little bit more of the colder temperatures. Uh, we do a little bit more for the animals here at the zoo than that. Um, we have specific temperature guidelines that let us know temperatures that we have to lock animals inside if it's too cold, if we have to give them access to their heated holding areas if it's cold but not too cold, or we can just lock them out on exhibit if it's warm enough for them. Uh, on exhibits, we also provide large hay beds and we'll provide them heaters and heat lamps in areas where it's safe to do so. Uh, we also have other animals that are specifically built for the cold, like the giant pandas, red pandas, uh, tanuki. Uh, we don't have to worry about them in the winter as much. Uh, we have to worry about them more in the summer where we have to provide them cool spaces instead of warm. Um, specifically the panda cubs, they'll be going on exhibits soon, but they'll be going on exhibit in our indoor day rooms. They won't be going outside in the cold until the spring hits when the weather gets a little bit uh, nicer, so they'll be able to withstand it a lot better. All right, thanks, Ken. And if you do come to Zoo Atlanta when it's extremely cold, be sure to stop by our Skelly Slimy exhibit to check out some of our reptiles or our Willie B Conservation Center. It gives you a whole other perspective on gorillas. If you have a question, tweet it to us using the hashtag AskZooATL, and we may answer it right here. Reporting for AskZooATL, I'm Gavin Johnson.